Hey guys, today we are talking about the Vito Pro Pack TPXL. This is one of the newest bags out uh, by Roger at Vito Pro Pack. This bag has 24 internal pockets, six external pockets, a backside tablet pocket, magnetic screw catcher, a hang up hook, over molded rubber grip, padded shoulder strap, a YKK zippers, poly, uh, excuse me, polypropylene plastic base for moisture and abrasion protection, and a five year warranty. Now this tool bag is fantastic, and if you guys really get a good look at it, I think you're really gonna love it. Of course, he talked about the rubber handle. Now the D-rings are here. <clears throat> I actually do not have the uh, shoulder strap hooked up because it gets in the way for this demo, but there comes with a shoulder strap in it. He's got his usual, these stainless steel spots right here for uh, tape measures. There's one here on the side, one on the front. I actually don't use them too much for the tape measure. I like it just from the looks of it. I think it looks really great. I love the design of it with the leather, the front. I really like everything about the bag. <clears throat> now when you open up the bag, there's some features on the inside of the bag, or actually on the cover right here, that you need to know about. Now there's a, an MB, a, a mini bag, that's right here. It's clear plastic. You can see my fingers on the inside. It's perfect for, for nuts and screws and things like that. And then he's got the magnet on here, and the magnet came out really with the, the, the Tech Pack series when it came out with the large tool bags, and he's incorporated that into the cover. So if you have magnet screws that you want to put there to hold, anything magnetized, maybe you're working on a unit, a condenser fan motor, or a piece of electrical equipment, and it's got some screws and nuts you can attach there instead of putting it on the ground and then you lose it. So that's on the cover. When you flip open the top, the first thing that you're going to see is the hook. Now the stainless steel hook pulls out, you can see it right here that will hook. And what's cool about it is it has its own little pouch. And so when you put it back inside the pouch, it stores away perfectly. But now you've also got this top pouch with this elastic uh, front piece, the elastic stitching on it, what makes it great. You can really expand it out and fill it full of stuff. The other thing I really want you to notice is, is how the inside looks. And, and really, Roger goes all out on the design. I've spoken to Roger a lot about how he designs a bag and he really designs it for versatility and the ability to grab up tools very easily. And that's why you see these pockets that you see right here. See how that they're, they're, there's an upper level and a lower level and that's because when you put screwdrivers in here, it makes it easier to pull them out by the handle. It's really expensive to do that. Now, the cheap way would be to take these pockets that you see right here with the multiple levels because there's one right here. There's one here in the middle, right here, and then there's one on top. It would be to raise all three of these, stitch them all up together, but when you put the handles in, it would be difficult for you to pull them out because the handles will all be at the same height. In the front, right here, in this front pouch, you can see right here, he's also got something that I really like. He's got these individual pouches that are Velcroed and they're very deep. This is perfect for, if you're an electrician, you can fill this full of red wire nuts or yellow wire nuts, Fill this side full of blues or oranges, and then this side right here with your most common wire nuts. He's really developed this front, <clears throat> excuse me, with electricians in mind, with the ability of having your multiple uh, colored wire nuts here in the front. Um, and I mean, you can put all sorts of stuff in like screws and nuts and washers, but if you're an electrician, this works out fantastic, and you can see it right there. Of course, he's got a spot here for, with D-rings, He's got uh, another tape measure holder. He's got a side pocket. He's got a little tiny guy right here for a pencil. Um, he's got, um, again, the plastic base. You can see right here, the molded prop, uh, polypropylene base. And then on the side right here is another pencil holder, a side pocket. And of course, this little strap right here is perfect for wire tape, um, Teflon tape, or tools that you might have that actually use like a ring of some kind, you can attach it here. So it's really, it's a great design. On the very back of the bag, is the back will lift up and it will hold a full size iPad or tablet, whichever you prefer. So now that you've seen the whole bag, let's go ahead and let's fill it and let's see what it looks like filled. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this tablet in place. And that's where this little strap comes handy because when you wanna get the tablet out, you actually pull this and, this and the tablet comes out. And when you're done, you push this back on the inside, push this back in here, flap this over, and now your iPad is secured. 
Let's get this guy on the front. And let's get him balanced out and get some tools in here. Uh, let's get a pair, let's get some some linemen's in there, some cobalt linemen's, let's get some cobalt rent pliers. Here's some more pliers. We got some channel locks here in the front. Let's get uh, shoot, let's get some a Klein screwdriver. Let's see how that how perfect the Klein fits in there perfectly. Let's get uh, my Milwaukee Allen wrenches. We'll maybe get those down in the front for right now. We'll see how everything loads. Uh, let's get maybe a large set of channel locks in here. We get there. There we go. Large set of channel locks. Um, right here, some other line pliers from Klein. These are heavier duty. Let's get some screwdrivers in here. Let's see how they look. Some more smaller screwdrivers in here. Maybe we'll, we'll double them up a little bit for right now, just until we can figure out how the bag goes. Let's get uh, let's get my fluke in here, huh? Let's get the T. T5, let's see how she fits. Oh, she fits perfectly in there. No problem. So far, so far looking good. Um, probably not going to be able to get everything that I want in here. It's a little bit smaller bag, but that's okay. Um, maybe sometimes I don't need to carry everything. Maybe sometimes I'm, over, I'm overloaded. And maybe it's just too much stuff to carry in one bag. But right now, we're actually, we're doing pretty good. I think we're going to be able to get... Let's see if we can get a large crescent wrench here in the middle, which we did perfectly. So far, so good. We're getting everything in place. I've got my iPad in the back. Um, let's come over here. Let's turn this guy. It's nice and balanced now. Now that the uh, the tools are in it, it's not tipping over. You saw it kind of tipping over there a little while ago, but uh, it's starting to fit in here really well. Let's get this guy in here on the D ring. Wrong D ring that I'm hooking to. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on over here? Oh, there we go. Okay, it was all me. I've got, uh, let's get this. I've got a temperature probe right here from Field Piece. It'll fit right perfectly on the side. I've got a laser thermometer and a volt stick from Klein. Let's see how it fits in here. Oh, it fits in here perfectly. Look, it's in there perfect. No problem there. Um, you know what? I, I'm kind of liking that right there. I'm kind of going to leave this a little bit open. Um, I don't need that right now. Let's see if we can get this guy in here. And we got that. This is the, let's see if the voltmeter from, there, this will fit the Subco Redfish. I use the Subco Redfish and you, with the uh, TechLink app. I love this one because it's a TechLink. Now I'll use the Flute for voltmeters, but I love this for recording the TechLink. And if you use the Redfish from Subco and use the TechLink app, you can actually take your amp meter and put it inside a blower compartment, close the door and get true amp readings, which is fantastic. Let's see how this guy closes up now. So I'll, it's all ready to go. Let's see if she'll zipper close. Oh, she does zipper close. Get that guy there. Let's see if it'll zipper close on this side. It does. And we're ready to go. We are 100% ready to go. It um, Here, let's see how this fits. Oh, there you go. Now we've got my tape measure on the front. Um, what else do we need? Oh, right here, let's get this guy here. So you can show the shoulder strap I'll connect to the D-ring. So now if you want this to be a shoulder bag, as well as pulling it by hand, maybe helping you climb ladders. There, the shoulder strap is on it. This guy, this guy's ready to go. It looks great. I really like the look of it. I've got everything in it that I would need. I'm gonna take the tape measure off so it doesn't fall off. And I'm completely ready to go. I can unzip the, the sides here. It's protected by the elements with that poly, polypropylene bottom. The front protects it. I didn't fill up anything into the front MV pocket. But it's 100% ready to go, and it looks fantastic. And I'll probably mess with it a little bit more. But here you go. This is the fantastic bag. This is the TP XL from Vito Pro Pack. Uh, the dimensions on it are 13 high by 10 long by six and a half wide, and empty. It's it, and empty. It's at about 3.2 pounds. So if you need any information on it, I'll put some stuff in there about VitoProPack.com. You can look them up at www.VitoProPack.com. As always, show the pictures of, send me your pictures about how do you veto, and we'll get them out on Instagram and Facebook. And this is the TPXL from Vito Pro Pack. Until next time, work safe, be safe, be good humans, and we'll see you soon.